Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another G1 Transformers review. Now I'm doing a couple of more obscure figures that didn't feature as widely as a lot of the main characters in the G1 cartoon. Actually, as far as the Western cartoons, I believe that made one small appearance in the Rebirth. Uh, it's about battle uh, on Cybertron as the sort of Rebirth storyline was starting. Um, these guys are, of course, the Autobot clones. Now, their names are Cloud Raker, which is this jet on the left of the screen, and Fast Lane, which is a kind of futuristic car, come Cybertronian dragster. Um, I will point out at the start of this, you'll notice that his guns on the side there are very white. They are actually guns from a knockoff version of these two. Uh, but it's actually perfectly in scale, so I actually was able to use them for him until I can actually get the proper grey ones. Uh, also, I would also say that these guys, because they're getting on in years, let's put it that way, um, the stickers aren't in fantastic condition. They are a set. I will have to do a bit of restoration on them, get uh, some retro labels for them. So they're not looking their best, but they're still interesting enough to show some of the younger Transformer fans, another pair of the old guys, uh, what came before all this modern movie line and prime line. Anyway, getting to the review, I'll start with Cloud Raker. Now, if I move fast lane out of the way. Now, Cloud Raker is, as I said, a bit of a Cybertronian futuristic sort of jet, a little bit of blue paint app, pick out the sort of cockpit detail. But yeah, not the greatest revolt modes, but not bad. Uh, it comes with two red sort of guns, lasers, what pegged in underneath. Uh, no undercarriage as such, so it's a pretty basic jet mode. Uh, you get some black wings at the back, and a little bit of moulding detail on the way around. The sticker details here and there, like I say, they are a bit tatty on my particular pair here but uh, yeah it's quite nice they're a little bit sort of jet fire-esque with the sort of engines on the top and the sort of general colour scheme of him anyway you unpeg these two weapons which are handed left and right and I'll just show you close up on those two as you see that they are pairs they are handed and these are the actual proper original ones now, for his transformation, as with a lot of G1s, he's pretty basic. Now, the first thing to do is to take the nose of the jet and fold it away so it's underneath, like so. And then that's got to be pushed, and it's quite a firm uh, bit of effort to actually get this guy to transform this part. You need to push it up and right back, like so, and then the windscreen sort of fits into that little part of the main bodywork there underneath you then need to swing the sides with the black wings round and fold those round as you go so that they're behind what is of course the leg and then you just flip up the orange part to become the foot so it's quite a basic transformation there and then you can pretty much see there's his legs and his feet and then with these top engines you fold them out to the side but you also got to untab from inside the back of them there is a little catch so it is a bit fiddly to get to i have to say and they are tight but they do actually give you a proper little hook so you can get your nail into on the fist and you just swing out the fist like so so a little bit fiddly because you've literally got to get into an area you can't get to easily but yeah you just fold it out of the back so it's a hollow arm forearm swing it round and now and you end up fast lane oh, it was cloud breaker sorry that's because they're clones they're confusing me now they do come with two rub signs which both the Autobot versions and Decepticon versions do now one is of course their Autobot logo which is the lower one 
but each of them do have a separate rub sign. Now I think Cloud Rapers one is a bit past its prime, shall we say? But it's just about showing a sort of like a winged sort of emblem on there, but it is a bit sort of like you know it's had its day really that rub sign. Um, not one you can obviously replace that easily because of course it's unique to this figure so a bit of a pain that one but very nice little figure um, quite a nice little head sculpt uh, articulation due to transformations is <laughs> let's put it this way it's a G1 brick you've got shoulder articulation and obviously due to transformation and move them in and out a little bit but that's it uh, there is no hip articulation because of the way the legs swing around and no knee articulation so yeah you're stuck with just the arms and even the head doesn't turn on this guy either so I'm afraid he's just sort of like a figure you could just have on guard he's not really going to be much help in a fight as I say the weapons are handed so you just peg them in to finish him off and that is Cloud Raker. Now, obviously, as I said, these guys are clones. So, how does Fast Lane end up looking the same as Cloud Raker? Well, as I said, he's a Cybertronian sort of car, come sort of dragster. Let me have a little quick look. He's a little bit loose in places. The arms are particularly an issue. And as I say, the guns are from a KO, so. They should be the same grey as the legs, so that's just one thing. And it's sticker details on the wheels where it would have been quite nice if that had been a bit of chrome, but never mind. But yeah, so you've got two large wheels at the front, uh, at the back, sorry, and one middle wheel at the front. I think you can pretty much see where his transformation lies. But before we start, let's pop off the weapons. Now. He's even simpler to transform. There is first thing you've got to do is slide the legs forward, which because they're a little bit loose, they already want to do that. Fold the two red pieces up to become his feet, and then you've got the same issue as you fold these sort of engine parts round on top. They fold the rear wheels all in together, and then you've got to move the arm forward and flip out the fist now as I say these guys are a real pig to get to these fists because of the way it actually moves it is not an easy place to get to I might even have to take this off screen just to get something in there um, let's see what I've got. Oh, now the best thing I tend to use if you get something stuck like that is a point of a compass because you can get it into the tight area and just start the mechanism moving like so and it's just a case of getting your nail in there and getting the point into the hole in his fist is also a good bit of leverage point flip them round now as I say they are tight where they're folded in there so again you've got to be a little bit careful you don't cause some damage as you get them out but they like so. So once you get it out to that point, you can get the nail in there and flick it round. Bit of a pain, but it's worth noting that it is a good idea to have something on hand to help transform these guys. Flip the arms then round, like so. And obviously, you can see where his head is. It's below this sort of rear spoiler, which obviously is to keep the downforce on the back of a dragster. Now what you do is you pull up on the head, which is the base of the spoiler, spin it round 180 and then you just turn the spoiler sort of round so it's not so prominent above his back and that just folds neatly round where the wheels are stored on his back now. As with Cloud Raker, unfortunately he's only got shoulder articulation really if you start moving the arms around that way it starts looking a bit weird so unfortunately no, no more articulation there 
He does obviously have a little bit of head articulation, but not a lot because the spoiler is restricted by those wheels. But uh, all in all, a nice looking bot. Now, I don't know if this one's going to... His rub signs are slightly better, Nick. And if it doesn't look a little bit weird that I'm rubbing the crutch of a robot on live on the internet. Uh, his rub signs are not wanting to play ball. Just about. He's probably not going to be good enough to actually come out. You can just see the dark blue maybe just appearing on his lower rub sign. I'll see if I can get his chest one to go. Which of course is more of a land based rub sign. I'll just see if we can do it. No, it doesn't want to play ball. You've got to understand that these rub signs, if they're 20 plus years old, you're asking quite a lot that a chemical reaction from the heat is still going to have some effect on them. So unfortunately, can't really pick that up on camera. But still a nice little bot. And of course, Fastlane can have his weapons pegged in to his fists. These are exactly the same moulding as the originals, so they were sort of like hollow moulded like that. Um, but I think they weren't so much handed, they are just sort of like a copy of each other, so they are just an identical pair. But that is the Autobot clones Fastlane and Cloud Raider. Now, as you can see, once they're in the robot mode, they do look like clones because from the front, other than seeing a little bit of the spoiler and obviously their guns, they do look identical. So, pretty well designed in that sense and uh, quite an unusual pairing. There is, of course, the Decepticon clones. Let me just move the camera around a little bit so you can see them better. Um, again, literally, as as far as the Western cartoons only appeared in the Rebirth just for a very short sort of period where I believe uh, what were they stealing? The Decepticons were stealing a key to the oh, energy plasma chamber or something like that which of course the whole Rebirth storyline then ended up going on to the beginnings of uh, bringing back, um, I think it was bringing back the Optimus Prime but in the Power Master version, um, having the Headmasters and the Target Masters as they all went to Nebulos, and of course bringing in characters such as Scorponok and Fort Max. So it's quite a pivotal sort of storyline, and actually one that sticks in a lot of minds of the G1 sort of fans who were around at that time. So, although they didn't make a great impact on the old uh, G1 cartoons, they probably do stick in the mind of a lot of the original fans back from the day. So anyway, that's a little review of the Autobot claims from 1987. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching this little review. Please feel free to subscribe or comment and rate um, if you want to sort of you know give it a thumbs up feel free um if there's any particular transformer you want reviewed you know feel free to comment and ask if i've got it i can try and dig it out and do a review for you um there are quite a lot of reviews up now on my page so feel free to check through there might well be something else that's a little bit more obscure from g1 that i've already actually reviewed anyway Hope you've enjoyed that and I shall see you again.